everybody, welcome to Teresa's World. I'm recording this um, after a weekend away in Porlock, Somerset, which is near Minehead. My sons, Fraser, who's 26, Oliver, 23, and Ollie's mate, Elliot, joined me. Um, I was absolutely praying for nice weather because they brought tents. So this is what I've put together from the weekend away. Um, I just want to thank them all anyway. Thank Fraser, thank Ollie and thank Elliot for, um, for a lovely weekend. Um, it did work out really nice because we had really nice weather and we went on a great walk yesterday which we really all enjoyed. So um, here we go. <laughs> Here's the little bit of footage I put together. To be honest I had, didn't have a clue really how this would all pan out. Nasty doing it, it's dead at the gym. This mine. Yeah. Okay, my sons. They put the tent in the wrong place and now we're gonna try and move it. Right. We've already done it. Oh, it's done it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Ready? Come on, Tiger. How are we doing it? So me and you slide pull it tight, it, just but also it. move that way. Yeah. You you do the you just gotta <laughs> Yeah, here we go, just move it. Here we are. It's got to stay. This is fine. This is better than where it was. Now we've got to dig it all in. Not a hook, is it? Look. How can you hook something out with that? You can knock that one in the small piece, ma'am. Ma'am. can have a meal in this van. So <laughs> oh, this <laughs> one. <laughs> what? Oh. Anyway, I've done really well. I've cooked a little meal, spag bowl of course, and um, all in this little space. Mum, there's a hair in this. <laughs> oh, don't say that. There is not. <laughs>
Get across there, walk down here, then come across here, walk down through here. So is that house there on the map? Pit farm, then walk all the way along this road. Like, see that green path? Follow all along there. Or follow this one. Easily done. safely. I always tap the van and say thank you old girl <laughs> for getting us there and back. Not doing anything daft like breaking down. No! <laughs> and yes, oh god I feel real scruff I've got no makeup on but hey that's camping for you. You can tell I kind of like obviously chilled out. <laughs> so we had a good weekend and the sun shone which is all I really wanted because if it had rained then I wasn't really prepared for rain because I didn't have a gazebo. Um, I do have one actually, it's in my shed and I didn't think to bring it, but I must admit it would have been handy, you know, to put on the side of the van um, when there's quite a few of us. But you see, I'm not used to traveling with quite a few people, am I? I normally just, you know, go away with uh, just me and the dog really. So to have um, two or three other people with me, um, I wasn't that brilliantly prepared. But we may do, yes, we had a meal in the van um, and I think we all had quite a good time actually. The Spark Hayes campsite, I'm going to give it a shout out because it's an absolute lovely little campsite and 
to be honest, what makes it a brilliant little campsite is Phil who runs it. He is a legend. And um, yes, Phil, thank you. Yet another lovely little holiday. I mean, it's only a couple of nights, but we always have a great time down there. And thanks to the people of Porlock too, because they are so friendly. They always talk to you and always welcome you so much. Um, and thanks to, who was it? Colin and Mark, we had a game pool with. So um, yeah, and to the pubs in Porlock, lovely food. So there we go. Um, great little village and one of my favorite places. Anyway, till my next video. Um, bye bye everyone, treat us well. <laughs>